legitimate political democratic protest. Double standards are huge over the relationship with the Bahraini royal family. The British government claims it supports human rights, peace and democracy around the world, yet supplies arms, has military facilities and surveillance equipment which props up that regime against the wishes of the majority of its citizens. I've taken part in many protests outside the embassy and I'll carry on doing that. Thank you very much and all the best to the people of Bahrain. You have friends in Britain who are with you. David Cameron, you're really mean. Very well, welcome to the press of We don't uh, want the internet and then you've got to stop this killing game. David Cameron, you're really mean. Sailing weapons to the press of regimes. We don't want the internet and then you've got to stop this killing game. David Cameron, you're really mean. Sailing weapons to the press of regimes. We don't want the internet and then you've got to stop this killing game. David Cameron, I think we should restructure our economy away from this reliance on arms and use the brilliance of the engineers of this country to develop better transport systems, better ships, better trains, more green energy, and use our skill to improve the human kind. It just broke about Bahrain. It's a Bahrain. The Bahrain constitution is suspended shortly after independence. It's a former British colony. It is an incredibly rich place. It provides some military facilities for the USA and Britain. And at the same time, has welcomed Saudi Arabia's involvement in order to um, oppress the protest movement in Bahrain. And Bahrain will indeed be used as a basis for an attack on Syria or somewhere else. We have to bring about peace within the region. That isn't brought about by arms trade. It's not brought about by bases. It's brought about by... I recognise that many people that work in the arms industry and related industries Sorry. are highly skilled, very competent, very intelligent people. I want them to be making ships that carry food. I want them to be making trains that carry people. I want them to be developing alternative technologies that harness green energy, not fossil fuels. I want those skills used for the good of humankind, not the destruction of humankind. And so that is essentially the message I want to give this afternoon. And to those that work in the arms industry, I recognize everything about their skills and their geniuses, as I've just explained. Let's persuade them that what we need is a change in our economic basis so we don't rely on export of arms, instead we rely on Syria and chemical weapons. Well, I'm opposed to abuse of human rights and opposed to the use of chemical weapons, but if we sell the precursor chemicals that then develop into sarin gas or something else, sorry, that's crocodile tears. We need to stop the export in the first place. Thank you very much and well done to all you do. Covers the campaign against arms trades office. We've got a mandate then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. War is stoppable. Peace is possible. 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 Peace is possible. Peace is possible. War is stoppable. 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 Peace is possible. <laughs> War is good for profit. The arms fair, we must stop it. War is good for profit. The arms fair, we must stop it. War is good for profit. The arms fair, we must stop it. War is good for profit. The arms fair, we must stop it. War is good for profit. The arms fair, we must stop it. <laughs>